Hey guys, today I'm going to be filming the unboxing of the Fallout Loot Crate, the Brotherhood of Steel box. And I was going to film myself opening it, but I have not showered and I'm not wearing pants. I have to go to work in a couple hours. Um, so it was kind of a last minute decision to film this. I was going to make it a whole big production, but I am incredibly impatient and I can't wait any longer. And you know what? It's going to be kind of a crappy video because I don't have a microphone for my camera and the autofocus lens, like, well, let's just put on autofocus for a minute and you'll be able to hear what I am talking about. Okay, so like literally the autofocus just makes so much noise when it's focusing. So I'm just going to put it on manual focus and I will try to make sure it's in focus at all times. I'm probably just going to film this in like jump cuts because I'm only one person and I don't even, like, I'm holding my camera. I don't have a stand or anything. So let's just see how this goes and welcome back to YouTube. I'm so excited to be doing videos again. I can't wait. I'm gonna do some travel vlogs and stuff too. But this is my grand return to YouTube. The Fallout Loot Crate. There's been so many issues with this crate. It was supposed to ship at the end of June and then it was supposed to ship at the end of July, and then now it's, well, let's just see here. It is August, oh, uh, that's not focused. It's August 15th, 2018. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I have to have a shower soon, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, I have taken the tape off of the box, and I am really excited to open it. It's probably going to be a mess when I first open it. It's probably all going to be like jostled around. So I'm going to open it on the video and then I will rearrange everything inside for a picture thumbnail thing. Ooh. Oh, so excited. <gasps> Paladin dance. Oh, Paladin dance. My husband, I love him. So I was going to see if there was a card inside saying what is included in the box, but I really don't want to ruin it for myself. I've gotten a loot crate once, and it was just loot crate. It wasn't, well actually it was loot crate and it was the dystopian theme crate, which did, it came with like, um, it was a Brotherhood of Steel Funko Pop, I believe. Um, but it wasn't that great. I was kind of underwhelmed, and I'm really hoping that this is gonna be better than the loot crate that I got before, because I ordered another Fallout crate. This is the Brotherhood of Steel crate. The next crate is uh, Robco themed, I believe, which I love Robco. I love all the robots. Um, which they did actually, when they debuted that the next theme was going to be Robco, they showed a picture of Codsworth and my, I've played all of the Fallout games and I'm like, correct me if I'm wrong, but I am 85% sure that Codsworth is General Atomics or General, um, yeah, General Atomics, I can't remember, but he, yeah. So I don't think Codsworth is technically Robco. Robco's like the Securitrons and those robots. Um, Robert House, which Fallout New Vegas, by the way, is my favorite game in the series. Okay, so can we just talk about my freaking favorite character in Fallout 4. I love Paladin Dance. I love his story. I love his background. I take him everywhere I go. Trying to keep this camera in focus on manual focus is a pain, but we're going to roll with it. Okay, so I'm going to start taking everything out and we'll see what's inside. So first of all, I see a shirt. I ordered, I believe, 
unisex extra large? I don't know. I can't remember. But let's just start with this palette and dance little guy. Uh, focus, please. Look at him. Oh, he's so cute. I'm going to put him on my shelf with all of my other... Um, I have a couple of pop vinyls and we'll put them there. Paladin and Dance. In the Brotherhood of Steel, soldiers come and go. Some are brave, some are honest, some are even downright heroic. But no one quite compares to Paladin and Dance, commander of Recon Squad Gladius, damn fine companion and power armor enthusiast. Yes. I love Paladin Dance. Okay, let's see the shirt right away. It looks friggin' cool. What do we got? Oh, it's Liberty Prime! Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me for like majorly fangirling here, but Liberty Prime is my favorite robot ever. Probability of mission hindrance zero percent. Democracy is non-negotiable. Oh, Liberty Prime. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so it's two times extra large, unisex. It's gonna be like huge on me, but that is okay. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, moving on. What do we got? So, what's this? Fallout Factions patch set. Ooh, patch set? Okay, I'll have to open that in a second, but I just have to set it aside for right now. We have... Oh, is this one of those, like... Sorry, I don't even think that was in shot at all when I started opening it. Um, I think this is one of those, like, survival bracelets or, like, keychain things. Um, okay, focus. So, I think, like, this cable here, that's not in focus, um, this cable, you can, like, unwind it and it gives you enough rope for, like, survival things. I've seen them on the internet before. Okay, next, we have a pin. What is, this is, like, one of the, um... Brotherhood of Steel, but this is like a, one of the perks, I think, like the big guns, maybe? Or the rifleman perk? I can't remember. Okay, and then we have, what is this? Is this like a little, what is this? Because I know you get like parts to like a bigger, a bigger, um, yeah, build a figure. Okay, I'll open those in a second because I only have one hand at the moment. And then there is like the Pridwin, I believe. Um, like a print. Oh, what's this? Oh, okay, this is the thingy <laughs> that says what we get inside. So you get a Liberty Prime t-shirt, a Fallout 4 Paladin Dance figure, power armor, build the figure arms. Oh, so you can get like an actual, um, like power armor dude. Fallout 4 Factions patch set Brotherhood of Steel keychain which says um, we hate to break it to you but this keychain is the only salvation your tortured keys and their owner have with it, have. Without it your ability to get into your home or vehicle or mailbox is sure to perish. And a rifleman perk pin. Yes. I knew it. Okay so I am going to open the little boxy things that I set aside and the patch set which I don't know what I'm gonna put the patches on um, but we'll open it and see what they're like okay so here is the patch set we have a Commonwealth Minutemen patch we have a Raiders patch and we have a new California Republic patch which that one is probably my favorite because like I said Fallout New Vegas is my favorite game in the whole entire franchise. Um, Fallout 4 is a close second to that, but those are cool. I think they're just iron-on patches. Um, does it say? Uh, okay, let's see. What did we got here? I gotta focus it. I, there we go. Ugh. <laughs> okay, comment. That's not in focus. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be more of a 
bloopers video than anything. Commonwealth Minutemen, your timing's impe 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 impeccable. Another settlement needs your help, and it's up to you to protect the people at a minute's notice. The Commonwealth is filled with awful, awful things that regular folks can't defend themselves against, like super mutants, raiders, mylarks, and death claws. Join the Minutemen and lend a helping hand. I should totally get like a uh, jean jacket and just patch, iron all these patches on. And then the Raiders patch. So crowds aren't really your thing. No problem. Join up with a smaller group and find your niche. They've already got thieves, murderers, and psychos, but they could always use a nice interior decorator to cover their graffiti-filled abode with bodies of their victims and whatnot. And if someone has something you need, just take it. And then the New California Republic patch. Uh, miss the stability, safety, and bureaucracy of pre-war society? Head to sunny California and become a citizen of the NCR. Sure, you'll have to pay taxes again, but it's worth it to have democracy, the rule of law, and a strong military on your side. They even have currency that comes in non-cap form. That's true, they do have the NCR dollars, or whatever they were called. Um, I haven't played New Vegas in a really long time, but yes, I am very happy with that. Okay, and this is the build a figure power arm or er, power armor um, thing. So we have like kind of a cheaply made like gun thing, and then we have two arms for the power armor, which I'm kind of confused. Okay, let me see. Let me see if I can get this in focus. So this, oh, <laughs> this, nope, still not in focus. This, aha. This, I'm not sure, like, that doesn't really look like a hand to me or if it is a hand it's definitely not on the right way and then I was kind of thinking like is it a power fist I'm not sure and then this is the kind of cheaply made gun um, this is like bendy and then here is the other arm which it looks more actually like a hand and an arm. Um, so that is cool. I mean, it kind of sucks because this is the first crate that I've got, so I'm going to be missing pieces. I think this is crate number four, like it says on the pin here. Yeah, crate number four. So I'm going to be missing some pieces. Um, so here is the pin, if I can get it to focus. Focus, please. No. Hold on. Still not in focus. Okay, this manual focus stuff sucks. Can I just, what if I do that? There. So there is the pin. This is the Rifleman perk pin, which I do have um, a little nuke pin from the dystopian crate. I have it on one of my jackets. So maybe I'll add this to it. I'm not sure. And then this, this is cool. Uh, it's a Brotherhood of Steel keychain, like the survival uh, keychain, which I'm probably going to take this part off and just put this keychain on my set of keys. Um, and then we have our little Paladin Dance um, dude, which he's cool. I like him. I'm not really into like collectibles or anything. Like, I mean, like, like yes, collectibles. Um, but not, I don't collect like pop vinyls or anything. And then I think the best part of the crate is the Liberty Prime shirt because I love me some Liberty Prime. Even though it's gonna be like humongo on me, it's fine. Cause I literally only go to work and to bed. So <laughs> that works. Um, yeah, but that is uh, the Brotherhood of Steel Fallout crate that I have been waiting like two months for. Um, Honestly, if I'm gonna be really real here, a little bit underwhelming, a little bit. Um, I mean, it's really cool to get a bunch of like Fallout memorabilia because I really am a huge fan of the franchise. Um, but I can't remember what I paid, but it came out to like 50 or 60 bucks Canadian, and I think they could chalk it full with a little bit more. Things. I'm looking forward to the Robco box though, but then I'm curious as to how accurate it's going to be if they pick, did a picture of Codsworth as the promotion for the Robco box. I don't know how accurate it's going to be, which 
perhaps, maybe, I don't know. But like, I'm pretty sure they work with Bethesda to do the boxes. So wouldn't Bethesda be like, no, Codsworth isn't Robco, do something else. So maybe there's a different story there, I'm not sure. But yeah, so I'm gonna take some super sweet pics of all the things that were in the box and then I'll put it on the YouTubes, I'm not sure when. It will be uploaded, but hopefully within the next couple days. Today is Wednesday the 18th, or no, it's not. Wednesday the 15th of August. Um, and hopefully maybe by the 21st I'll have it up. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe. And please don't watch my previous videos on my channel, because they are terrible. I am hoping to get a microphone for my camera and perhaps a stand, and then I could film myself unboxing these types of things types of things and like I said I am going to do some travel vlogs and whatnot too so you'll be able to get to see my beautiful face kind of question mark um, so yeah that is that and I hope you enjoyed have a great day everyone